sanity. Uh, I'm going to update Um, let's get rid of the speedrun tag. Floor. And now go find the right game again. Whoosh. Oh, there it is. So it's time to do something that is a little bit less of a, uh, a mental exercise for me. Also, Wow, I never realised quite how uh, stiff my shoulder gets using that controller for so long. Yep, yeah, we're uh, going to set fire to some more countries. Uh, I've just realised why sound isn't happening. Because I've muted all of the sound. Okay, sound is now unmuted. This is when I find out that EG's decided not to load anymore, which would just be annoying. I should not keep playing cards on my desk. It just inclines me to do sleight of hand practices. Hey, guess which character I've been playing most recently? Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay, we're unlocking minion types and doing loot. Yeah, I'm more worried about the fact that Ivan is in combat, really. Can anybody remember where Ivan's sanctum is? Oh, is that it there? You must be the freedom-hating mastermind I've had so many briefings on. Thanks for making the time. And you must be Agent X. No one else will be brave enough to go out in that outfit. I have missed just hearing Brian Blessed speak. I feel no shame about marching into battle cloaked in the colors of freedom itself. Battle? With what time? I am sure you think you're very important, but I have a fine Brian Blessed. Ah, oh, he's such a, a famous voice, honestly, in uh, British TV history, particularly. Yeah. I think he's actually from Yorkshire. Um, so, oh, yeah, he's played so many roles. Um... Give me a second. I will find a uh, a tab here. So, Red Ivan in this actually does look a little bit like Brian Blessed.
I did not know he was in Flash Gordon. <laughs> so, this is Brian Blessed. Um, he has done pretty much everything ever. Uh, so, <laughs> Wurzel Gummidge, apparently. Grampy Rabbit in Peppa Pig. Uh, you know. Oh, of course, yeah, he was Friar Tuck in a lot of the Robin Hood things. Uh, he was the king in the first series of Blackadder. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> He's done one or two things over the years and is still going. Um, but uh, as I understand it, at least... I mean, uh, yeah, there is almost certainly at least something here that you would enjoy watching, though, I think. I mean, you know, just looking at this, his filmography goes back to 1959, and he is still acting today. But as I understand it, he actually did... Um, uh, he went and trained in opera to get better vocal control rather than to actually uh, sing. And as a result, his voice is just so noticeable and so memorable. Oh, I really am. Brian Blessed is one of the few people who I think I could genuinely say I have a celebrity crush on. Um, the others almost all being dead now. <laughs> Not that there were many. Uh, Alan Rickman was one. Actually, no, they're not, thinking about it. They're just mostly... Yeah, so you've got Tim Curry, although he doesn't really do so much anymore. Um... Oh yeah, we're supposed to be disrupting Patriot on the world stage. Let's actually uh, stop fangirling over Brian Blessed and... <laughs> A scheme has succeeded. Oh, I forgot we have the robot person. This seems oddly laggy today for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Let's see if it's just a... Okay, it was just a tearing issue. I th oh, no, maybe not. Though it seems a little bit smoother now, at least. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I think it cares as long as you happen to be, like, a white supremacist or something goat. You know, as long as you have some sort of viewpoint that involves hating other people, um, you're probably okay. If what you're looking for is, like, fairness and equality in any way, uh, then you're in trouble. Right, where is Agent X? Well, hey, look, there's that super technician we have who worked on Havoc. Huh. 
I've got truth and justice locked and loaded. Agent X is the corniest one of all of them I've seen so far. Although, to be fair, I've only really seen three. The heat at a criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. Hi. Just gonna spend all your time disabling stuff, huh? I mean, I guess the longer you spend doing that, the more chance we've got of seeing through your crappy disguise. Your crappy disguise. You know, it's a lot easier to um, defeat somebody when they don't get permanent invisibility. Let's bring Ivan out. Let's see if Ivan and Iris can see him. On my way. Command processor compliance. There we go. You've got me this time. My lord, your dedication to your mission, Agent. Yeah. But it turns out the genius and the henchman seem to be able to just see through it instantly, so. Because tomorrow's paper has You didn't even realize what secrets you were given away to a keen mind like mine. Please, I can strangle that story in its infancy. Not so. Thanks to the power of Patriot's free press. So remember the next time we meet, I drew first blood. New side story available. I hate Agent X so much. Your votes are full. Like, the Blue Saint annoys me because he just destroys stuff, but I quite like his character. Agent X is just awful. I've had time to consider it, and I can now admit, Agent X, I'm impressed with how you outmaneuvered me. I'm still not sure what accent Brian Blessed thinks he was doing for this, though. <laughs> it does seem almost comedically inconsistent. And I could genuinely believe he does that on purpose. If you think I'll join you, you've got another thing coming. I only fight for truth and freedom. Perhaps, but I have no doubt that very soon you will also have good reason to fight for your life. Also, anytime anybody starts talking about fighting for truth and freedom, the problem I have is all I can uh, think of is the inner city heroes. And it's going alright, thank you, psychotic deer. Um, you know, we have havoc, so we can just set fire to everything if we need to. Yeah, so the Inner City Heroes is an old Loading Ready Run sketch that was like playing with the trope of like they've got the signal and all of this. And the whole point is there's four heroes that have the same logo in different orientations. Okay, dear, so which ones have you seen? Have you seen all of the others or just some of them? Because at the moment I've only seen Havoc and Midas myself. 
Uh, I did start a game as Emma, but I was trying to exploit it the way you could with the original EG, uh, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, embarrass Agent X. Okay. Oh, that's not fun. It always sucks when you're trying to set something like this up. And... Ah, thank you for the follow. It's always appreciated. Um, so which one's Void? Is Void Zalika then? Yeah. A scheme has succeeded. So Zalika sounds like the the genius that I would enjoy the most, so I'm saving her for last. Um, so my my off-stream game is Maximilian, and here clearly we're playing uh, Red Ivan. Uh, so Havoc starts fires. <laughs> it's incredibly annoying. <laughs> like, you fire it, and you can make a whole load of money with take advantage of the confusion or something. The special mission it gives you. But it just sets your base on fire. <laughs> Yeah, so we've done all of the test firings and stuff. Uh, and a couple of extra firings, just for good measure. Uh, it mostly sets the, the vault on fire, is what we found. But also, we have some fun things. So we have the Fountain of Youth and the Trojan Horse. And now we're just trying to take care of... Uh... Oh, absolutely. But also, Ivan has a rocket launcher and the voice of Brian Blessed. So, uh, you know. Um... Oh, but also, yes. Uh, I let myself get distracted again. So the thing I was saying, Lottie, about the inner city heroes, the main one you see is Mega Man, whose symbol is just like an M. But one of the other heroes who shows up is called Triple Threat, who has the same symbol, but it's rotated to look like a three. And he fights for truth, justice, and freedom for all. And it's just... That's all I can think of with um, Agent X's truth and freedom line. Yeah, loading ready run are great. Honestly, um, I I cannot recommend enough watching it. Your vaults are full. Um, in fact, they started doing a thing a while ago. So um, Graham was was ill. Uh, Graham's one of the guys who started it um, a few years ago, and he just picked up the latest WWE game. So he made a bunch of their characters in WWE to have fights. Uh, and Triple Threat featured in that as well. Which was pretty fun. Wait, who's fighting what? Or was this the training room? Okay. Okay. It sounded like there was some fighting happening in the lair, which was bad. Dun dun dun. A criminal network has too much heat and has locked down.
Yeah, I I haven't actually seen the end for any of them yet, dear. Um, partly because I'm trying to play all of them in parallel, which is not the best way of doing it. But... <laughs> I'm still a little bit disappointed that you can't have, like... Like, there, there isn't a Tim Curry one. Like, I'd love Tim Curry as one of the henchmen you could get. And then you could actually have a team of Brian Blessed and Tim Curry. And then get the guy whose name I always forget, who played um, Chaucer in A Knight's Tale, and... Um, Oh, what's the robot in the Avengers? I can't remember that character name either now. Yeah, I've not done a Doomsday either. I, I've like I've fired the Havoc, but you know that's not quite the same thing. That just looks like a volcano has erupted somewhere on the map. Your vaults are almost full. Yeah, we know. At least it means we've got plenty of money, though. Your vaults are full. Uh, we need to get more ammo for it first, goat. Oh, okay, fine. Agent X is going to come to us. We don't even need to lure him. Although on that note, let's start acquiring some fuel. So this is one of the nice things. I don't know if you've seen the um, the pre-order bonus loot, dear. But so like this is one of the special missions you can get, where uh, if you've got the Trojan horse, you can just get some special uh, heist missions, which is quite good fun. And this one. Agent X here to turn your world upside down. Well, okay, we clearly need to capture you, then. Hunt them down. I don't know how you got through. But I was trying to select Ivan. Ivan, just come and stand here, will you? Has been captured. Well, it's a hard-boiled agent with lots of resolve. Oh, is this because Agent X is here? Found and, captured. and Agent X gets to just spawn investigators inside the lair. Why is this intruder free? Capture them if you see them. Locate and grab that intruder. Your minions are in Aha, there you are. Minions find I'm thinking affirmative. Awaiting input. Calculating optimal route. Okay. Protect yourself. You are under attack. Let me serve you a two-fisted helping of justice. We came no. to older frontiers than this. I'll be back. You know, I brought you here because I read a bit about a journey. So, uh... This was the... When Agent X builds a team, his team just starts in the lair already, uh, rather than having to get in first. I'd be interested in helping you, Mr. Hill, if you'd shown up with a more open mind. Forget it. You're an enemy of freedom. You hate truth. And the apple pie at your hotel is subpar at best. You see these shotguns? Yeah. 
So that was me setting high alerts, so everyone was going to focus on defeating Agent X. Imagine if you want to fight. Your vaults are full. Let's turn these investigators into intel. Been subdued and captured. A scheme has succeeded. An interrogation has succeeded. We have more intel. Your minions are in combat. I hate how often these stupid things escape. Come on. Get them all interrogated. Interrogation success. An agent has given us their secrets. Oh, which C and C, Lottie? An interrogation has succeeded. We have more intel. A group of minions have deserted. Have they now? Which minions where and why? A group of minions have deserted. Your vaults are full. No, okay, it's not that button. An agent has been captured. But, you know, if we had a bunch of minions desert, let's get some free minions. Okay, yeah, that does make a lot of sense in context. But then the question is, which red alert? Brainwashing has converted a prisoner to our cause. Not enough rockers to support your current minion count. Uh, do you mean missions or schemes, dear? Your criminal networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. Challenge the Blue Saint. No. Ah, here we go. It's so hard to find fuel for Havoc. Oh, that's symmetry. Oh, I forgot that gets rid of the... Uh, let's have a look. Oh, first of all, let's dispatch some uh, valets. Need more Doomsday Fuel. So, main objective at the moment is we need to unlock mission, uh, minion types and get more loot. I mean, so this Red Alert, Red Alert 2 and Red Alert 3. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got three minion recruitments. We've got two, four, six, seven Crime Lords. Uh, and we've got some super agents. Uh, Boss, we need to talk. Master, yeah, every they've been building up. Your mouth, I get a headache. We're brushing up against the limits of our capabilities. It's time to explore new branches of science. Here it comes, stabbing pains right here on my temples. Do what you must. We can kidnap anyone who can teach you what you want to know. 
Yeah, I mean, most of them are because we are so good at evil that we have a lot of people trying to, like, compete. Oh, it's like, you're not going to compete, so just don't bother, right? I honestly don't know what the scientist's accent is. I have to admit, like, the detail they go to with accents and stuff in this game kind of puts me in mind of um, Stronghold. And the way Stronghold is was always like, every unit has a distinct accent. Our stronghold's quite old now. Uh, there might be a video of it on my YouTube channel. Aha! We have a specialist. We need another training room. Do we have one upstairs? Yes. I think one of the things I really like in this version of Evil Genius is the multi-layer thing. In the old one, you could just build on one floor, and then after a while you had to move to a different island, and it was just kind of annoying. But, um... Yeah, with Stronghold, you did have some great things. <laughs> I, I have some fairly esoteric tastes, though, Lottie. So Stronghold was uh, an old uh, castle simulation thing. But as you go through it, you get different units based on, you know, what you're allowed to make at the time. So you can just make, like, spears, you get spearmen, and if you can make bows, you can train archers and stuff like that. But it's like, the spearmen are all Cornish, um, archers are Geordie, tunnelers are Welsh. Has given us their secrets. Um, it's just really fun. <laughs> Yeah, I used to say it that way, and I'm not sure why I changed, honestly. Your criminal networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. Okay, give me schemes I want to run then. Preferably schemes that involve fueling havoc. Those are the schemes we're interested in. Like this one. Uh, 
Hey look, it's symmetry. Task complete. Oh yeah, probably actually need to set some biologists. Let's set 12. Yeah, Stronghold is a whole lot of fun. Um, I'm, so, my favourite's still the original one. So, the original one is that you, know, like you play through this whole campaign where um, uh, Agent X... Uh, that's not what you do in Stronghold. Um, <laughs> that would be strange. Uh, so, Stronghold is you play through this campaign where four dukes have murdered your father, the king, and exiled you, and now... As an adult, you've come back and you start reclaiming your land, and it's all set in Britain. And you um, you defeat uh, Duke de Puce, yeah. Duke Beauregard, Duke Truff, and Duke Vulp, uh, colloquially known in order as the Rat, the Snake, the Pig, and the Wolf. That's the science of sharks, right? Oh, that line. Biology! That's just shark science. We study life and ways to end it. Like I said, sharks. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sharks. That's it, just sharks. Oh, that's not extra fire extinguishers. Darn. Yeah, so I don't think I've ever gotten far enough through the game to actually fight the wolf. At least not in any meaningful way. But then you get, like... So Stronghold 2 is supposed to be... Like the Crusades or something. Um, so you you're like you're fighting in the Middle East and you can get like local mercenaries and stuff. Um, Stronghold three is back in Britain again, but it's like an alternate Britain, and then. There's also Stronghold Legends, which is like fantasy stuff in an Arthurian setting. And has like dragons and witches and stuff in it. Can we get any free money? How can we not get any free money? Okay, we need to do one loot side quest. Do we... Going against the grain... Where we steal the sands of time... The Patriot Games... Where we steal the Declaration of Independence... Sands of time? That's sands of time, then. About the sands of time. Well, some say time is like a river, but I know different. It's a bunch of sand in a large hourglass. The scientist sounds oh, like almost are. home counties. But what I want to know is how do I get my hands on them? They're an ancient and mysterious artifact, missing for centuries. Tracking them down will be difficult. Well, you better get started. Because if you don't find them, your time might just run out. I oh, will do Declaration of Independence next. Apparently.
apparently we need to get more money. the research. Research has begun. Oh wait, we can actually do other research now, I think. Yeah, we can. Uh, like, we can do this research. Research has begun. Oh yeah, you can't queue research. Kind of forgot about that. Okay, steal the sands of time. The heat at the criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. has too much heat and has rocked down. What do you mean this isn't the Factorio? Can you not see, like, all of the machines that we build up? I mean, if you treat all of these as Factorissimo buildings, it kind of is Factorio. <sighs> We need one more ammo. A scheme has succeeded. Excellent. Oh, yeah, okay, now we need to grab the hourglass in all of the places. Except that right now, everywhere hates us. This has still gotten a lot laggier since the last time we played it, which is slightly concerning. But
Okay. So, for everyone who is around, uh, nominate somewhere to fire havoc. Uh, kind of. So we can fire at whatever this is called, Western Hammer. Agent X is here to chop you down like a cherry tree. Really? I'll give everyone else a chance to have a say if they want to, and then, uh... I mean, true. I just kind of always assume with that line that he's trying to do the, um... I want to say George Washington? So I have actually not seen Hamilton. Research has been paused. I was clicking on the investigator, not the door. On Earth, and grab this intruder. I want that intruder found and captured. Yeah, it's one of those things that's on my list to watch and then I just never quite get round to it. That was interesting. That investigator seems to have just teleported. An inferno is raging in your lair. A minion has caught fire. Look, there are enough fire extinguishers. I really hate the fact you can't put fire extinguishers in rooms. A minion has caught fire. And they basically are yellow minions. We fired havoc. This is what happens when you fire Havoc. A minion has caught fire. A minion has caught fire. An item has been destroyed. Oh, yeah. Havoc is horrendous. A minion has caught fire. Yeah, pretty much. The fires are being dealt with. The fires are being dealt with. The fires are almost under control. Yeah, definitely almost under control. Uh, so we fired at Western Hammer. Uh, what's the room I was looking for? A this small one. fire has started in your air. An item has been destroyed. A minion 
Minion has caught fire. A Minion has caught fire. An item has been destroyed. A Minion has caught fire. A Minion has caught fire. We have captured an agent. A Minion has caught fire. A Minion has caught fire. Yeah, there's a lot of a minion has caught fire now. An inferno is raging in your lair. A minion is deserting. Which will also happen because now they've all got low health and morale from trying to put out all the fires. Which they can't do because you're not allowed to put fire extinguishers in rooms. An inferno is raging in your lair. An item has been destroyed. Um, but yeah. Havoc is horrendous as a thing. Are being dealt with. A minion is deserting. <laughs> a minion is deserting. You see, the problem with that, Dev, is you just make me want to open up Luna Magic and make a Super Mario World ROM hack. Purely for the sake of trying to make an escort mission type level, where you have to escort either one of those little jumping fires or a pot of boo. I guess that's the problem when you know too many streamers, Goat. A minion has caught fire. An item has been destroyed. I've been going for a while now, so we're probably not going to be going for too much longer here. An item has been destroyed. A minion has caught fire. And that's fair, goat. A minion is deserting. A minion yeah, is deserting. I mean, it's. This is why I try not to fire havoc too much. A minion is deserting. Because. This is all that happens when you fire it. A minion is deserting. A minion is deserting. And, yeah, you just need to be able to put fire extinguishers inside rooms. If you could do that, so much of this problem goes away. But it's just not an option. Because fire extinguishers only exist in the corridor, and you're not allowed to put them in a room. A minion has caught fire. And either that, or you have to make all your rooms tiny. A minion has caught fire. A minion is deserting. A minion 
Leon has caught fire. An item has been destroyed. A minion has caught fire. This is one of the worst. An item oh, you really don't need to play the first one first, Lottie. They stand on their own. So, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I would say if you are interested in playing it, just get number two. Uh, number two is significantly better than number one. The only problem um, is you don't get to do the infinite money exploit. Yeah, and it is dear, but, you know... We filled the base with fire extinguishers, and the fire spreads faster than they can put it out. So, you know... An item has been destroyed. This has been the worst one, An to be honest. Has been destroyed. An item has been destroyed. Yeah. There's just nothing you can do about it. You know, you just effectively have to let the room... And as far as I can tell, dear, it's intentional. Why it's intentional is a different question, but... Something is wrong with either the minions or the training room, boss. Uh, I will have a look at that as soon as I'm done, Goat. That was definitely the worst Havoc blowback we've had so far. Actually going to leave an extra gap in the middle there. Well, thank you for hanging out anyway, dear. Yeah, we can't afford to spend any more money on research at this point. Not enough gold. 
sound to complete this construction. Your vaults are full. Your vaults are full. Your vaults are full. Yeah, they shouldn't be full. Your vaults are full. Oh yeah, Ivan's Doomsday Weapon. Like, don't get me wrong, it's hilarious. But when it does that and just destroys your own lair, especially when it seems to destroy the vault first, I think is the thing that really annoys me. Is it almost focuses on the vault. And as soon as it does that, you then can't afford anything anymore. Training resumed. A minion is deserting. They're not even really deserting, it's the fact that we've brainwashed a prisoner into oh, okay. a cause. Yeah, now I can see where the capacity got lost. We probably want to do the same thing here of... A minion is deserting. Just trying to leave more space. I think this is realistically the only way to try and mitigate the effects of Havoc. It's just spread everything out enough. Or mod the game so that you can build fire extinguishers in rooms. That would also do it. A scheme has succeeded. I mean, harder, but probably more fun, right? It looks like it's also wiped out a whole bunch of power plants, but, you know, we can fix those later. Oh, and also half the stuff in the mess hall. Whoopee. Wow, how much evidence has Agent X been planting?
Oh, that one's actually not planted evidence. That's part of that repeater. Okay. With a little bit of luck, we can actually start making money again now. That's also not how you go to the world stage. New optional objective available. Oh, it also destroyed the door. That's um that's a new one. Training has stalled. Yeah, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Okay, money is going up. That is a good sign. I guess we can probably fit more stuff along the wall here as well. That should be safe enough. But the hope is with wider avenues to get through to these things, uh, the minions shouldn't suffer so much if and when Havoc sets fire to the room again. I mean, I don't care about the suffering of the minions, particularly. It's more the suffering of us, as we have to then repair all the damage the fire does. Something is wrong with either the minions or the training room, boss. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get... Wait, really? Enough gold to complete oh, yeah, okay. Construction. It costs six guards. It doesn't give six guards. I know how things work. do definitely need more technicians wandering around. At least we are finally starting to train more technicians. Thank you. 
And we need to put in sushi bars for the biologists. Because all of the shark scientists need to eat sushi. That's a well-known fact. A scheme has succeeded. A minion is deserting. I don't know why my idea of shark science is sharks in top hats. That's a very strange image. And now I'm going to finish streaming in like 10 minutes and then go and watch Goat's video and then go and watch Sharky and George. Short girdles. Sharks are indeed good. actually also just realized we can also finish filling out that room a little bit That's all fine though, we can just like a minion is deserting. Get some money. You have to show your workers you mean business. Capture that minion. Capture that minion before I capture you. Change them. Oh, I've just realized they may not have been minions that were deserting. They might have been the ones going out on missions. Whoops. You're a henchman. Is in combat. Apparently, uh, brain no worky. Also, actually, would need to expand the security what's it. A minion is deserting. Yeah, definitely brain no worky when tired. We captured a minion.
your minions are in combat. Well, take your care then, Dev. Are in combat. Leave that minion alone. No, I'm clicking on the minions. Okay, you have morale, I you're okay. You have morale, so you're okay. You have morale. Please you have morale, and you have morale. Needs more incinerators, because I'm guessing at least one burned up. At least two burned up. No wonder we're struggling to get rid of all the body bags. Okay, so that actually does work as a way of releasing them, which is good to know. You're running low on power. Build more generators. What we really need is better generators. Gonna be fine. A minion is deserting. Is it that one? Iris unit responding. Training has stalled. Keep saying people are deserting, but nobody actually appears to be deserting. Yeah, well, I think we're going to uh, probably wrap it up about here anyway, Lottie, so uh, you can go and get some rest. <laughs> Having had our experiment with Havoc and uh, being a little bit destroyed, and then recovering and at least somewhat rebuilding everything to hopefully be more Havoc resistant, we will see you next time.
but you know we are at least you know rebuilding the workforce and stuff so that's all good uh, let's actually make sure I get it saved I'm just going to casually save this in a new slot just in case <laughs> Right, I know it's been kind of a longer one and we've jumped around a little bit today, but thank you everybody for joining me on this one. Um, as normal, we will not be streaming tomorrow. Um, uh, and we will be back on Monday with uh, a little bit more of the uh, Lion King stuff. Uh, hopefully with fewer interruptions when we get a good run. So yeah, thank you all. Uh, have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, I will see you on Monday. And bye for now. <laughs>